Hi there, this is Gold Zomo with the uh, Austin Brawlers. Uh, I recently uh, got third place in a San Antonio tournament that Viva La Hunt hosted. And uh, he requested a deck profile. It's uh, been a long time coming, but I'm uh, f finally getting a recording. Sorry about that, Hunt. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've got a very unique uh, deck currently in the meta, I guess you can call it. So um, I'll go ahead and start with the... Bakugan, I suppose. Okay, so first we have, who's probably the uh, biggest contributor to this deck, is Nilius Ultra from AA, um, using the Epic Character card. So whenever he has a uh, Bakugan attached to it, he gets a 5, a five damage bonus. And um, the cores I'm using for him are a... 650B Magic Shield, as well as a 50B, 1 damage, and minus 2 for, uh, what is it, Baku Gear. So, and um, th this is an easy choice because um, it it's the Arliss, and I uh, I forgot to mention too, I paint my Baku Gun sometimes, and this is one of them that I paint. And, um, yeah, th this one easily double cores, so if you look at this like this, it double cores very easily. And I kind of count on that for my strategies to, uh, bring a certain Baku gear out, um, which I will get to in a bit here. Uh, next one is Platinum Ventus Blitzfox. Um, it's, uh, this is one, this is a newer Bakugan that came out, I've been kind of Kind of uh, going nuts about it until I got it. Uh, it gets a plus 1,000 B bonus on a orange shield. So with the shield bonus and its base 500 B, it can get up to 1,900. And um, that's very hard to get over if uh, you're not running Mythics or anything. So here's the figure. And uh, for the uh, course, I'm just using the uh, uh, Darkest Inventus plus 400 B bonus. And, um, this one can double core as well. It's not as consistent, but, but yeah, here's the figure. It's a very nice looking figure. Okay, next and last but not least, we have Mythic Darkest Nilius. Um, this one is, uh, I mean, we've seen a lot of Mythics already, but, uh, this is probably one of the best in my opinion. On a Helix, it can add a core from the field, and it comes with two Helixes already. So, base B power, it can get up to uh, 1,800. Or if you're using damage, um, da damage cores, damage Helixes, it can get up to 16 damage, which is really good. Um, of course, I don't use it for the damage. My deck is not damage oriented. Here's the figure. Um, and the, uh, cores I use for him are just the, uh, 600B minus 3. And, uh, he can double core as well. Uh, again, not consistently, but, uh, look, nope, okay, not quite. But yeah, um, he, he's become a pretty solid part of my team too. Um, I do want to point out as well, I do have... A uh, couple of other mythics I swap out for uh, Nilius and Blitzfox here, which is uh, Mythic Gordion the Darkest and Mythic Fade Ninja the Ventus. Um, I will occasionally swap them out with uh, those two. Um, like this Gold Nilius here will stay in the deck. That, that's a staple, but. Um, yeah, with uh, Gorthion, he has the ability to steal course, while uh, Fade Ninja has the ability to remove course. So, um, sometimes I will swap them out with those, but these are probably the two that are going to probably consistently stay in my deck. So, we'll go into Nano Gone. Uh, first one I have is Nano Scorcher. On, uh, if your team's holding a uh, Orange Shield and a Magic Shield, it gives you plus 700B. But if an extra orange shield is on there, you can get plus 1100B, and then you steal a core, which is nice. I, uh, to be honest, I mostly just 
I haven't actually used the second ability. I mostly just use the first one, but it's it's pretty solid. Uh, it's my favorite uh, arrowless nano gone so far. Um, next we have a uh, nano sludge em. on a helix. It's plus two hundred. On uh, two helixes, it's plus six hundred. This is currently the only uh, Ventus uh, nano gone out right now. So. Um, once another one releases that fits better with this deck, I might end up re uh, replacing it. But, um, at the moment, this is what, what we have. Uh, last but not least, we have Darkest Crystalline. Um, on a shield, you add a core, and on a shield and a green fist, you steal a core. Very nice, uh, it's very base basically the, uh, Darkest equivalent of the Chaos, uh, Siphon. Which is very good. Like, anything that gives you a free core um, is just basically amazing. So, um, all right, I'm going to clean up here, and I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, actual cards in my deck. Okay, so first off, I guess I'll start with the action cards I have in this deck. Um, so first one is... Uh, I've got three Pyro Storms. It's, uh, you reveal the top four cards of your deck, and you may put an action, Bakugir, Evo, and Hero revealed that way into your hand. And the rest of them you can put on the back on the bottom of your deck. And um, it um, helps me get specific cards, which I will get to in just a moment. But um, it also helps if, um, if uh, I want to uh, move some flip cards around in my deck as well. So, like... Um, Let's say, like, I get a uh, um, Pact of Darkness or any kind of flip card on my next card, next uh, two cards even, and uh, I grab what I want from those four cards, and then I can place the rest of the cards at the bottom of my deck in any order I desire. So it's a... It's, uh, um, I mostly use it to grab cards from my deck, certain cards from my deck, but it's, uh, it's, it is helpful for that. Uh, next one I have is Darkest Face Bomb. It's uh, plus 400 to B, and then you get to scan. If you don't know what scan is, it's like you look at the top card of your deck, and you can decide if you want to leave it there, or you can put it at the bottom of your deck. And then the this is the effect that my deck uh, goes around. It's called Scrounge. In this case, I look at the top card of my deck, and if it's a Ventus card, I can reveal it for plus 600 B instead of 400 B. So, and um, I have another card in here that will be yet, yet to be revealed that will get that bonus even higher. But, um, yeah, uh, speaking of which, um, regarding the cards Pyrostorm gets, here's the Evo in my deck. It is uh, Hyper Nilius Ultra. For the uh, Arliss. It's a, it's a 3 cost and 800 B, 4 damage, which isn't great by itself, but if you look at the effect, if, as long as it has a Baku gear attached to it, it gets plus 700 B and 7 damage. So, um, yeah, so as long as it has a Baku gear attached, so it's uh, at base at least, uh, what is it, 1500. So, um, and whatever bonus you get from the Baku gear. So, uh, very nice. No, oh, for he for heroes, I got Winston the Hungry. Uh, he had I've got three of them. He is a one cost, and if you're holding three or more Baku Baku gear, Baku cores, um, my attacks get uh, plus three damage and Shadow Strike, which actually helps in the long run. It's um, it's only for attacks. So if I'm going against like damage wins uh, attacks, then this is not going to help at all. Because um, now for dealing damage uh, after the attack, um, it is it is a nice uh, card to keep in the keep in the Ventus deck. It's only it's only one cost, like I mentioned. So and um, you, you can play it almost basically first turn and uh, yeah. Um, the next and last hero I have is Everett Ray. It is the dual faction Darkest Ventus. This is another staple card in this deck. I've got three of them. And he's, he's only a three cost. And when I open a Bakugan, I can scrounge. And in this case, I, if I open, if I reveal it and it's a non-action card, 
then I can give 300 B to my Bakugan. And if I have all three of these on the field, that is a 900 B bonus right off the bat. And on top of that, like I mentioned, I have another card um, that's actually coming up pretty soon that uh, would will uh, increase that bonus even further. So, okay, starting things off with the Baku gear, we have Darkest Destroyers. I have three of them. One's very shiny, doesn't really matter. Um, it's a two cost, 200B plus one, um, It and it gives Shadow Strike. That's the important part for this deck. It's, uh, like, it prevents... If you don't know what Shadow Strike is, it prevents any stats from lowering. And, um, like, let's say your opponent plays, like, uh, uh, what's, what's the word, uh, I can't think of the card for some reason, but it, it's, like, it, it gives, gives you, gives your opponent, like, minus 500B or something like that. Uh, that would prevent that. This would prevent that. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, th this is another... Not quite a staple, but it's very handy for this deck. Um, next gear I have is Feral Strike. It is an Arless gear. I have three of them. Um, it's a one cost, plus 200B, plus do damage. Uh, the only downside, I can only play this on a Arless Bakugan. So, in this case, it would be uh, Nilius Ultra here. So, which, this is actually one of the... This is actually very handy because um, that uh, double core technique I mentioned for uh, Nilius, um, I would grab the uh, uh, Green Fist. Oops, he just opened up on his own. Okay, uh, I would grab the Green Fist and I can play this for free, or e even this for free. So um, yeah, right off the bat, that would give them a plus two two hundred damage or two hundred B bonus and two damage, and it would give him his plus five for his effect. And if he's got his Evo. He would have the uh, bonus from this, which would get him to, up to 1700 base. So, um, and da damage, it, I can't even think of damage. I want to say it's like 15 or 14 or something like that. But, um, w with all his Evos, with his Evos and the gear attached, he actually does manage to get around some uh, damage wins somewhat easily. Although with uh, the damage wins, the da the amount of damage that some Bakugan are getting to, it's kind of nuts. Another staple card for this deck is Root of Darkest. Can't see the name there, but I have three of them. Now, this is a five cost gear, plus 500B and plus five damage, which is a little intense, but I don't use it for that normally. I use it for the effect here, uh, and if it's revealed... If I reveal it from a scrounge or a scan effect, or I can look, or if I look at it with a scrounge or scan effect, I can reveal it and I can give a Bakugan plus 300 B and plus three damage. So with uh, Everett, if I get this, instead of the base plus 300 B bonus, it would be a, it would be a plus 600 B bonus plus an added three damage. And even better, um, Darkest Face Bomb. Um, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go, there it is. If I manage to get it with Darkest Face Palm, um, this actually goes off twice, so, or this goes off twice. Like, just from this, a two-cost action card. So, this, while I don't, I don't normally equip this to much of my Bakugan, it is a staple for this deck, and it is, a. Uh, Probably going to stay whether or not I get some better cards or not. And now for the uh, new newest edition of this deck, uh, Combo Cannon. It's, uh, I've only got two, so I can only, uh, at the moment, I've, I've only got, I can only run two anyway, so. Um, it's a four cost of gear with 300B, three damage, and two armor. And when it flips from my deck, uh, I can pay two to attach this to a Bakugan. So, um, yeah, it's a nuts card because like not, not only gives you an armor bonus it lets you uh basically if you get it flip it from the armor bonus it uh, basically lets you play it for just half the cost so um very nice card um and hopefully i can get a third one okay starting off with uh the geogon i've got darkest high enix i have three of the, them in this deck it's a uh, one cost with uh 1300 B power, 4 damage, and Shadow Strike. 
currently one of the best Geogon in this game right now. Um, uh, now, I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't actually have a lot of rerolls in this deck, if any. So, technically my Geogon are my rerolls. So, if I miss with the my Bakugan, I can, and I got a Hyenix, I can get pay, two pages one cost, turn one. And if I land on a Magic Shield, I can get up to 1950B with Shadow Strike. And if I win an early game, that this is great. So, um, dealing four damage right off the bat. Um, if the attack hits, of course. Uh, next Geogon is Insectra Ventus. I've got three of them as well. It's three cost, 1400B, one damage. And uh, on a Helix, it's plus 400B and plus four damage. And then on Victor, it's a team attack. So I personally have not been using this one a whole lot, but he is very handy to have in this deck. Because with a uh, plus 600B uh, Helix, you can get up to 2400 and add the add the bonuses from my uh, from the uh, vent, uh, Everett, the darkest fences I have in this deck. It uh, it can get up to twenty seven hundred just right up right there. So uh, when I do bring him out, it's kind of hard to get over that. Um, lately, that hasn't been the case, but um, it, it's still a nice card to have. But all right, for the last Geogon, I have Arliss Bobadrill. I've only got two of these. It's a four cost, 1700 base B, three damage on a orange shield double strike, and on a magic shield plus 500 to B. So I don't really, I don't really use the double strike, um, but um, this uh, with a magic shield of the max bonus, it can get up to I want to say yeah 2950 I believe, either 29 or 28. So yeah, for a four cost. That's almost reaching 3,000. So this is, this is, if I have the energy for it, this is very, very hard to get over. So, um, yeah, eventually I will run my third one, but, um, all right, let's run, let's uh, go into my flip cards. Uh, first flip card I have is Fierce Charge. It's a three costs, stop non Arliss. I've only got one. Um, I used to have like at least two or three in this deck, but, um, it has gotten me over, it, it has helped me in the past, and, um, not a lot of people run Arliss, or, or players run Arliss at the moment, so, um, the likelihood of them having Arliss is not very high, so, uh, if, if, if I have the energy and I draw this, then, or flip this, and it, it, it's pretty good, um, Next one I have is Pact of Darkest. Darkness. I've got two of them. Um, this I feel like is a staple for most Darkest decks. Um, it is a four cost, uh, which uh, which is a little high, and then I can stop uh, non Darkest. But this is the this is the this is the effect you want for it. Sacrifice. You may discard a card to play this for free. So, yep. Yeah, basically, you're just discarding a card to. Stop an attack, so it's pretty good. The last flip card right here is another staple. It is uh, Darkest Treasures. I have three of them in this deck. Five cost and Darkest Ventus. Um, it can stop any attack. For five cost, that's, it is a little steep, but as you can see, it does have a, another flip uh, effect. When it's flipped, I can scrounge, and if it's a non-action card, I can reveal it to make this make it down to two cost. So a two two costs to stop any attack. If I pull it off, that is perfect. So, um, so yeah, that's basically my deck. Um, the entire um, the entire theme of this deck is to minimize action cards. So um, so I can pull off like cards like Everett or Darkest Treasures here. And, um, like, when I originally made this deck, I wanted to, uh, just run a deck with my three favorite, uh, factions. Arliss, Darkest, and Ventus. And so, and, um, this is a deck that, uh, Viva La Hunt and, uh, Greg of Nerdy Friends have helped me build, or at least start off with. 
So um, I do have to give them a lot of credit for this. Um, because I probably wouldn't have thought to have run Scrounge until they mentioned it, so... But yeah, um, if you see this on uh, Viva La Hunt's channel, make sure you subscribe to him. And uh, if you if you want to, you can check out my channel as well. I don't upload a lot, but I will. I do have some uploads uh, planned. So um, that's it. Um, peace.